Ladies and gentlemen, this week we have a super important event on the monetary policy front where here on Thursday, the Central Bank of Mexico, Bancico, will decide how to proceed in relation to the interest rate level in Mexico. It is worth mentioning that this decision takes place at a very difficult time for central banks globally, which have recently been involved in a crossroads between price stability and global financial stability. Regarding the decision, the current expectations are that the Mexican bank will proceed with an increase of 25 basis points, thus bringing the reference rate to a level of 11.25% and adding to a cycle of adjustments that began in mid-2021 and which registers an accumulated increase of 700 basis points. Although expectations became considerable that this week the Mexican entity could proceed with a higher than conventional increase of 25 basis points, as it did surprisingly with 50 basis points during the last meeting in February, recent reductions in the inflationary front have supported the markets in favor to prospects that Bancico will proceed in a conventional manner with 25 basis points. On the inflationary front, the Mexican economy has recently seen improvements where the data presented last week showed inflation for the first half of March considerably below the 0.30% expected by the consensus and settling at 0.15%, thus supporting a disinflationary process which registered price increases on an annual base during the month of February at 7.62%. Everything seems to indicate that all this aligns for Bancico to proceed with 25 basis points as the US Federal Reserve did last week. This, in theory, should continue to support the Mexican peso and its position as the best performing emerging market currency so far in 2023, where here the Mexican currency's value has increased in more than 6%. With regards to risks, one aspect that will continue to be relevant will definitely be the instability of the financial system at the global level, where any sign of instability on this front could affect the risk taking that has allowed investors to benefit from a very attractive carry on the part of the Mexican currency. Here, it will be necessary to monitor how Bancico presents its rhetoric regarding how this could affect its policy as it reaches the end of the tightening cycle. Tell us how you observe the trading dynamics in the Mexican peso and how the Mexican peso will continue to operate and trade in these moments of considerable global uncertainty.